What's going on, y'all? This is Boy Kev coming to you with another video. Oh, man. Chiefs beat the Steelers 42-37. They beat Pittsburgh for the first time in Pittsburgh since 1986. Yo, I mean, it's about an hour since the game is over. I'm still sweating. <laughs> um, My Chiefs, man, they're 2-0. I really didn't think they would be 2-0 when I was seeing the schedule. I mean, I mean, as tough as these first, what, six games are for Kansas City, for us to be 2-0, I mean, that is huge. I mean, it, it that is huge. I mean, also, you know, getting a win over the Steelers. I mean, with who we've had... A lot of problems with the last few years. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, the big elephant in the room, Le'Veon Bell did, did did not play. You know, he's not still hasn't reported to Steelers, and all that. I get all that, but still, that this is a huge win. This is a really huge. Win. Uh, I think it's like a huge mental hurdle that we basically got over. I mean, you know, with a new QB, new weapons on offense, like and some some of the same. Horrific defense, and we still probably get by the skin of our teeth. Got the dub in Pittsburgh, man. I mean, yo, that's I mean, incredible, incredible, and what a performance by the young by the young QB himself, Patrick Mahomes, NFL record, most touchdown passes. In his first, it to, to, in the first two games of the season, with Tenham had six in this game. And think about this though: Patrick Mahomes went twenty-three of twenty-eight for three hundred twenty-six yards. Patrick Mahomes had more touchdown passes than incompletions. Where the hell they do that at? I mean, I'll be it. I was one of those guys that was kind of I was telling everybody, "Yo, pump the brakes on the on Patrick Mahomes and all that." It would seem like it was just too much hype going on you know, uh, around Patrick Mahomes coming into this year. But, God damn, this dude, in the first two games of the year, this dude has been I don't know, I don't know maybe exceeded expectations? I mean, the big story coming into this year was about um, – Patrick Mahomes, you know, throwing interceptions, you know, and how, how he's replacing Alex Smith, who guy who took care of the football, you know, didn't really throw it into a dangerous zone or something where then we throw it when it would have got too close to to a receiver and all that. And, and they talk about the in training camp, the interceptions that Patrick Mahomes was throwing and all that. I mean, the first, these first two games – I mean the Chargers okay, but you know the, the Pittsburgh has ha historically has had a great defense. Now obviously they're not the same, you know, without James Harrison of course, and of course without Ryan Shazier as well. But I mean that's still pretty that's still a pretty decent defense, and he carved them up. He, he carved them up like turkey on Thanksgiving. I mean obviously it helps when you have uh, so many weapons that the, with, with the weapons that the Chiefs have. You know, I mean, I mean, what can I say, man? Just a huge game for Mahomes. Uh, Travis Kelsey only had one catch for six yards against San Diego. Excuse me, L.A. And then he has his big out, his big breakout game: seven catches, 109 yards, two touchdowns on the day, including a what was that? The, the second pass was just a bullet, a rocket. Where well, hell, uh, Kelsey had to reach back. It, the, 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 Mahomes didn't place that ball. Good. He didn't really place that ball in a good position, but Kelsey reached back. He got that thing, and he brought it in for the TD. Tyreek Hill. After the big week he had last week, I thought he would. I I I, I kind of felt that he would uh, take a step back this week. I thought Pittsburgh would pay more attention to him. Didn't they really do nothing in the first half? He got going in the second half. Ended up with five catches, ninety yards, and he had scored a touchdown himself. Sammy Watkins finally had his, I guess, breakout game. For the Chiefs, I mean, he kind of struggled in the preseason. Uh, so much was said about him and the money that he got.
to come here. I personally didn't think we needed Sammy Watkins, honestly. But, I mean, he had a big game. He had a big game. Six catches, 100, 100 yards. Hell, he was basically, what, probably the only receiver to hit the field that didn't catch a touchdown pass. Uh, Conley, Chris Conley, caught a touchdown pass. Only his second career touchdown pass uh, uh, in the game. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Demarcus Robinson caught a touchdown pass. Beautiful. Got his two feet down and bounced in the back of the end zone. Beautiful catch. I said, I, I kind of felt that Chris Conley and Demarcus Robinson could be what uh, uh, Sammy Watkins would be in one. So I mean, I, that's why I thought we didn't need Sammy Watkins. But he had a good game. No, he had a good game. I'm glad we have him, but, you know, that money could win elsewhere. And then Kareem Hunt, he. He struggled most of the game, but uh, at the end of the game, uh, he had some big runs for us. He did finish with 17 yards, 75 yards on on 18 carries. He, uh, yeah, he he did he, he had a decent game at the end, uh, but but you know, still not still not what he was last year. He did he did catch a receiving touchdown in the game, but um, you know. That's what I felt about Kareem Hunt going into this year. I I, I just feel that uh, that this is a this is the type of offense that Andy Reid's always wanted. All these weapons, you know, and kind of kind of going back to his Philly days, where uh, uh, he had McNabb, he's got he had T.O., he had the the tight end. What was that Lewis? I think he had he had Selleck. Uh, and then he had Brian Westbrook, which is basically what I think uh, he'll turn Kareem Hunt into. That's going to be the last year. Hunt's <laughs> rookie year is going to be the last year he leaves the league in rushing because he's not. He's as far as Andy Reid's head coach, he'll probably he won't he won't be nowhere near close to what he was last year. Hell, I'm even doubting if he will, if he'll even get a thousand yards rushing. He might he might probably end up with 800. He might end up with another 400 receiving or something like that. I mean, this offense is so great, it just almost makes me forget how torturous this defense is. I mean, you give up 28 to the Chargers last last week. I mean, I mean the cornerback play is terrible. I mean, the scheme is just terrible. I mean, I wish Bob Sutton was gone, honestly. I wish Bob Sutton was gone. I'm not even going to bring up Marcus Peters. I'm not. I'm not. It hurts. It just hurts too much. I don't care what y'all – Certain people think I, I just hurts too much to bring up his name. Yeah, but Skandrick, Nelson, anybody other than Phil or uh, Fuller, really. I mean, and pa- Parker Parker's played well too. But other than that, his secondary is just straight trash. I mean, but my thing about this, that my my thing about this, uh, great pick by Patrick Pearson there. Watch the Rams in a Cardinals game. Um, my thing about this is the only way. Um, to the only way that I see that you can uh that you can help uh I'm sorry I got caught up in uh, Patrick Pierce's uh, little celebration there yeah I'm sorry guys I got distracted but if you have a bad secondary uh usually what helps is if your front seven can get to the quarterback but no Bob Sutton believes the more guys you put back in coverage uh they feel the better the, the better they're gonna be. I mean, he's ba- he basically dro- he's basically dropping prevent defense back every single time. He's he's dropping back eight and only rushing three guys. That is not working. I mean, especially against a quarterback like Ben Roethlisberger, a guy who's 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 seen everything, two time Super Bowl champion. He's seen every defense known to man. Man, come on. And when you give a guy like that that much time uh, roaming around and stuff, you know. And you give, and, and you, and, and you're covering a great uh, receiving core, like uh, the Steelers, the Steelers have with Antonio Brown, Juju, uh, James, the tight end. You're gonna get those holding calls and pass interference calls and stuff because he has too much time to pass. I mean, the first quarter was a clear example of 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 of, of what pressure could do for the Chiefs. They, they, they got the they got the Steelers to go three straight drives, three and out. They bought pressure. On third down, and they forced Roethlisberger to get out of his hands, and you know, and and either it was an incomplete pass or the cornerbacks made made plays. I mean, he, I mean, Sutton is doing this to his own secondary. The, the the longer you force them to 
cover, the 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 uh, the the longer you force them to cover, you know, the more the more they they become exposed. I'll say that. Remember, Phil Rivers said last week I could have threw for six hundred yards, and his receivers dropped two, maybe three, uh, near touchdowns. And you got Ben Roethlisberger today throwing it sixty times, four hundred and fifty yards. Like, come on! When you give a quarterback time, eventually he's he's going he's going to find the sweet spots in the zone, or he's going to find that guy who can't hold. Uh, like like a Nelson or a Scans who can't hold their guy one on one, and and he's going he's going to burn you. I just hope that Bob Sutton changes this up and sends more pressure often. I think I I the thing the thing about it is I think that they got happy with it uh, last year in the opening game against Tom Brady and the Patriots. It it, it worked. It worked to a good de- excuse me. It worked to a good degree. No, they, they dropped. They dropped eight guys. They 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 dropped eight guys. They played good coverage against the the, uh, the Patriots. Uh, Tom Brady threw a I think he threw a couple picks or something in that uh, Week One uh, game last year where they beat the Patriots at home. And Bob Sun got complacent with that. I mean, but you know, that's gonna have to change. That's 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 that, that's gonna have to change sooner or later for for if they want to have more success because. The Chiefs can't keep scoring 40 points a game and giving up 35 a game and, 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 and you know, because eventually there's going to be a team that's going to outscore you. I mean, and we were warned, we were warned of, 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 the, of, of shootout games like this. We were, we, were warned, we were warned, and I was completely ready for it. I just didn't know if the Chiefs could keep up. But, I mean, the Chiefs have outscored their opponents – in a shootout the first two weeks. You know, but I just pray that, you know, the defense sures up to where, you know, we, we won't have to give up this many points and this many yards. Antonio Brown wasn't the wasn't what I expected today. I guess he was he's dealing with an injury. They, they, they showed on the broadcast we was uh arguing with his offensive coordinator. I guess he wanted the ball more and they was talking about he got some has mail city issues that that went dated back to training camp. I remember he had some health issues and stuff like that. But um, uh, Jesse James in a big game, 138 yards uh, receiving. Juju Smith-Schuster, he had a lot. He, he had a big game receiving. Uh, uh, helped out my fantasy team a lot. Yeah, fantasy note. I had my homes as my as one of my quarterbacks in my in one of my leagues. Woo! Also had Smith-Schuster as well. As a flex in one of my leagues, ah oh, man, I'm dominating my I'm dominating my matchups right now. But this video is way longer than I thought it would be. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.